Hi, this screencast is going to walk through collecting web form submissions. My name is Jake Rockwitz. I'm known as Jay Rockwitz on the web. I'm a Drupal development software architect. I built to maintain the web form module for Drupal 8. So, what's a submission? Um, a submission is data entered into a web form. Hit submit, that's a submission. And, you know, these are web form submissions. They're coming in, there's in a results table. And, you know, it really comes down to how do you administer these submissions as they're coming in. Well, the Manage Submissions tab, you can filter by keyword or state. You can customize the tables, column, sorting, paging. You can start and flag individual submissions. You can add administrative notes to a submission. And users can, you know, view previous submissions. So, customizing the table, there's a little dialog, and you can pick which columns you want displayed, the number of pages. You can also, you know, decide if you want to display the key of the element or the label. And, and downloading submissions is just, you know, you can export it into a CSV or an Excel file. Um, you can also take uploaded files and generate an archive. And you can also save these settings, which is kind of helpful when you keep coming back and you're pulling data out. Um, demo's kind of simple. The contact form, I generated some, you know, 50 test submissions. So we're going to go in and there's 50 submissions here. You know, and you do get the side scrolling, which you can fix by, you know, going into customize and taking out the information you don't need, like... Uh, we don't need submitted to user IP. We just need to know the data that came in. Need operations, but I'm going to hit save. And now it's it's made the table a little shorter and easier to manage. Sort the table. You can do quick filtering and searches by, you know, any value that's been submitted in the notes. This also just tells you what's been starred, unstarred, starred. And the starring is right over here. You can star a submission. You can also lock submissions to prevent people from editing it. So once you lock it, if you go over to the submission, it'll be locked. Notes. You can add a couple of notes. You can change who it's submitted from. That's pretty much it for submissions. It's a pretty simple user interface. If you need more advanced functionality, you should look at the web form views module. I'm going to go over to download. And here we can download these submissions. The default is you know text delimited. Generally, I like showing the HTML table, which can be opened in Excel, but I'm not going to open it in Excel so we can look at it. So you can customize all the nuances to this table and how things are going to be delimited for multiple values. Are you displaying the keys, sub-elements, or entity references, what, what properties, the ID, title, and URL is the default. You might only want the URL or the ID. And there's this feature. I can just turn off the downloading, and if I click Download, I should get this table right on screen. And if I hadn't clicked download, it would have opened in Microsoft Excel and gave you a pretty table to manipulate the data and do what you want with it. That is pretty much it for submission management. I'm gonna jump back over and just give you some exercises, things you should look at. You should turn on the submission log. There's a logging tab and you can look at the log and how it's working as submissions are coming in. Definitely use the Devel generate module, which you can go, if it's the develop module is enabled and the web form develop module is enabled, you can go into test and there's a little message that says generate multiple submissions. Um, you can also customize, so users can view their previous submissions and you can customize that table. And yeah, you should just experiment with the exporting and, you know, look at it in Excel, see how that works and have fun with it, as I always say. Take care and thanks.